All right, it looks like things could be much worse than originally expected for your two-time defending Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs, as stud running back Isaiah Pacheco potentially now lost for the season as head coach Andy Reid said he is set to undergo surgery for his broken fibula he sustained in the Chiefs' 26-25 win over the Bengals on Sunday. Look, this is really bad news for the Chiefs. He was originally expected Pacheco was going to be gone for about six to eight weeks, but now Reid's saying we have to determine he's not going to speculate whether he's going to be back this season or or next season. That's really bad news. The Chiefs were pretty much one running back team. They were all in with Isaiah Pacheco. They don't have any depth. It feels like they have no depth. They have a rookie fullback slash running back who has an alligator as a pet in Carson Steele. And then they signed career backup Samaj P. Ryan right after cuts when he was cut from the Broncos this year. Uh, yeah, this is not good for the Chiefs in their three P chances. Look, the offense needs to have a good running back. They need to rely on the running game. The weapons at wide receiver just aren't quite there anymore. Rasheed Rice is becoming a very solid wide receiver, but Travis Kelsey is washed. Like, he is gone. They are stashing him for just the playoffs because he can't give you 16 games. He can't give you five games, I don't think. But those four-game playoff runs he can give you. Xavier Worthy is a rookie. He had some big explosive plays, but he hasn't really done anything. Like, he's not running routes. He's not catching the ball. They're... It's kind of just, you know, it was a broken coverage and a jet sweep to him. Now you sign Kareem Hunt, who used to be in Kansas City, but he's pretty old at running back. Pacheco was truly the workhorse of this running backfield. I mean, last year, 205 carries. The next leading rusher for the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, 75 carries. There, I mean, they don't have a running back on this team. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire was the guy. He got replaced. He, I mean... He's gone now. It, it's just a disaster for the Chiefs because they can't afford to lose Pacheco. Like I said, this team was set to run the ball. They changed the way this offense was built. This offense with Tyree Kill when Patrick Mahomes first came into the league was air raid, air it out, spread people downfield, big explosive plays. But as we've seen over the last two years, teams have taken that away. They're playing two deep safeties, not letting the Chiefs burn them over the top. So everything's been underneath short game. And that's where we've seen Pacheco emerge the last two seasons as that power downhill runner that just runs with angry and authority to pick up those gritty first downs that they need to do. I mean, we're looking at the NFL now where everybody was zigging, the good teams are zagging. Teams are playing two deep safeties more than ever now in daring teams to run the ball. And Kansas City was a team that was willing to run the ball. They're willing to run the football. They like their run blocking scheme. They like Isaiah Pacheco. And what's not to like about Isaiah Pacheco? He's an awesome running back, I think. So this is really devastating. And this goes to show why a three-peat is so, so difficult and has never been done in the NFL before. Because things just happen. Now, the defense is still great for Kansas City. They're still lights out. And you still have the best quarterback in the world. But it, it really does go to show how fragile things are. I mean, look at the injuries we are sustaining this season across the skill positions in the NFL. Christian McCaffrey on the IR. Debo Samuel going to be out five to six weeks. He's on the IR. How about both Rams wide receivers, Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua? They're both out. A.J. Brown's going to miss a couple of games. I mean, the NFL has turned into a shit show this year when it comes to injuries. Everybody's hurt. Everybody's in bad shape. Nobody is healthy. I just, I don't know what to do as a fantasy football manager, a guy who does a fantasy football channel. It's getting really, really bad out there. But this is where we separate good teams from bad teams. A, who can stay healthy? Are you going to be able to stay healthy and survive the grind of the NFL season? Because the teams that are going to be healthy are probably the teams we're going to see in December and January still kicking around, picking up dubs left and right. Or who can adapt? Who's got depth? Who can adjust? I fully expect the Chiefs to figure this thing out, get some wins. I still like them to win the division, but the Chargers are kind of scary now. That's all I'm going to say. The Chargers... Definitely scare me if I'm a Chiefs fan now, but this is devastating. They need Isaiah Pacheco back. I just don't understand how you can misdiagnose this so bad. Again, it was early. They were looking at where the break was. It was kind of a nasty play where he got rolled up on at the end of that game. But I guess you get surgery. Surgery really does make things work. It sucks. I feel bad for Isaiah Pacheco. I'm a huge fan of his. But hopefully, hopefully guys will start getting healthier. They will find 
a way to get back into it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you haven't already, drop a quick like on this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We got new sports content every single day. If you want to support the channel more, sign up for a channel membership. You get all sorts of access to cool perks. Help support me, allows me to keep making this great content for you guys every single day. If you want to check out one of your favorite teams in person, head on over to SeatGeek. Use code after the review for $20 off your first purchase. Again, code after the review. $20 off at SeatGeek on your first purchase. Again, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.